uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, also consider joining membership. Uh, uh, links in the notes section, please, if you're interested in some of the gear I have. I see a lot of people do that. I watch a lot of YouTuber biking, electric bike YouTube videos. It shows up in my feed, and they and they always, you know, do this, like it's, you know. Don't waste your time driving all over the place just to ride a bike. Don't neglect your loved ones over a bike, all right? <laughs> so there's the bucket pool. All I gotta do is pick up the 70 pound bike with a battery in it with my lower back issue. <laughs> Wish me luck, everyone. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Another ride. And so today I will be headed to the uh, to the pool, the bucket pool, the kids pool. Oh, lawnmower! I'm gonna get that. It's probably most likely carburetor issues. Maybe I'll think about it. Yes, I do dumpster dive. I remember I found a lawnmower and just needed the carburetor needed to be clean because people don't. Uh, use their lawnmowers from, like during the winter and it ends up ends up being clogged the carburetor anyways so the carburetor ends up being clogged and uh, it doesn't start the engine so just clean out the carburetor and you should be good. So it's uh, supposed to rain, even though it's sunny right now, but later on it's forecasted to rain. So we looked at the time. Now uh, the pools were gonna be open. All the pools are open. That Even that pool's open over there, but we're not going to that one. We're going to the bucket pool. That's where the big bucket is, it splashes down. I think that's called the resort pool. And uh, Okay, I have a flashing yellow arrow, but I'm not going to go because it confuses everybody. No one's behind me. But I'm going to let all the cars go first before I go in the middle of the road because it confuses the drivers and they don't know if to stop or to go or, or what to do. That's kind of kind of what I do. Anyway, so the bucket pool is where they have the big bucket and the water fills into it and it splashes down on the playground. There's a water water park. It's it's open. All the pools are open today. Summer has officially started. School is over. So summer started and school is over. Uh, yesterday we were going to go to the uh, Cinco de, postponed Cinco de Mayo Havana Nights Food Truck Friday event, but it looked cloudy. It looked like it was going to rain. The original plan was to take the electric bikes. Everybody go on bikes. Well, that didn't go so well. So. That didn't go over so well with the family when they saw the dark clouds and the morning, the morning of, the morning of it rained. So in the morning it rained, then it let up and then it started to rain again. So what we ended up doing was I said, okay, we're going to Red Lobster and everybody was happy. And we did not ride our bikes, we drove, we drove. So, and then after that, we went to CVS, bought some candy, and we watched uh, a movie on the iPad together. Instead of going out to the movie theater, we went home, watched the movie together, and had candy. 
It was better because we could pause it, go to the bathroom, come back. If anything, this pandemic has taught me is that you don't really need to leave your house anymore. Everything you have should be within a five to 10 mile radius of where you live. And if you don't have that, then you all need to move. Ideally, you would, uh, I think you all need to move to some area where it has all the amenities that you are looking for. Because if the trend is everybody's working out of their house, IT, consultant, accounting, even receptionist, I mean, just to answer the phone, you don't need to be in an office anymore. You just work out of your house. Imagine the energy savings you would generate and time saved. Hopefully, if anything that comes out of this pandemic is remote learning, remote office, remote whatever, you have a living, a dwelling where you live, why can't you just work out of that dwelling? You don't need an office anymore. Everything will be virtual. I don't know. Maybe I'm just talking out loud. So anyways, headed to the bucket pool. All right. Now I got my, I got my flexi freeze vest on. So I'm wearing that. I'm not wearing a helmet. I'm wearing a bump cap. I'm wearing my high vis hat, that foldable hat. I got the gray one on instead of the uh, the uh, high vis yellow. Kind of gives me some, you know, two tone color. Makes me colorful. Whoa, car! <laughs> What's? They're gonna turn right. Okay, they spit up just to turn right, right here. Anyways. Anyways, uh, so I got the bump cap on. It's not a quite a helmet, but I'm gonna spend time at the pool. But the interesting thing I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna really ride back because the forecast is that it's going to rain later on in the afternoon. So what we're doing is we're just going to the pool while it's sunny. So it's going to be sunny for the next two to three, maybe four hours, which is just in time for the pool. Best time uh, around 11 to 2 o'clock, best time to be at the pool. And I think about 3 or 4 o'clock it's going to start raining. So what I love about the Ride Mini and the folding bike. What I love about the Red Mini and the folding bike is uh, my wife took the car because she doesn't want to get all sweaty and work up a sweat and take the kids on the Rewi Co-Pilot. She's not confident. But I, I like riding the electric bike. I like making the videos. I, I enjoy it a lot. So uh, I see a lot of people do that. <laughs> you know, they do this. They do this like it's like it's, I don't know, a thing. Anyways, a lot of YouTube, I watch a lot of YouTuber bike, electric bike YouTube videos. It shows up in my feed and they and they always, you know, do this. Like it's, you know. Anyways. Anyway, so she took the car, she took the uh, SUV with the hatchback, my, my uh, Hyundai Tucson. Oh, someone's on a, there's a group of family. Someone has a, uh, what do you call those where you sit on the bike? It's called, it starts with an R. I don't know, you'll see it, it's coming up here. The family is going together. Uh, I don't know what you call them. Recumbent, recumbent bike, yeah. Someone has a recumbent bike. Anyway, so, so the wife, and my youngest took the car. I'm gonna meet them there. I'm gonna, instead of, I usually take my bike into the uh, pool area because I don't wanna lock it up outside. I didn't even bring a lock. I don't even have my front basket. I don't have anything because this, this is like basically a one-way trip. And after today, I'm going to be putting the Rad Mini away because the Rad Rover is uh, fixed up 
and there's no more planned community event that I need to take the rewrite co-pilot so or the whole family's going uh, not none that I know of yet there will be but for now I'm gonna put the red mini away so that'll be going in the garage I'll be riding the red rover and so once I get there I'm gonna find the car I have the keys I, ha I have the keys to the uh, Hyundai Tucson I'm gonna open up the back I'm gonna put fold this bike up and uh, put the bike in the car put all my gear away I have my hat on I don't have I didn't bring a helmet but I, I, I it's a bump cap it's a high-vis hat very breathable with a plastic bump cap in it so anyways that's what I have I have my glasses uh, everything else I'm gonna wear I got my compression tights I'm gonna take off my gloves of course but just you know my long sleeve breathable shirt Ooh, the levee is high today and the swallows are out they probably had a lot of nest fall from the bridge from the overpass there was a lot of rain so it looks like they're starting all over again they're out there like crazy I'm almost to the pool so I'm gonna put the bike away in the car go to the pool enjoy it relax um, my wife brought the towel and everything else and then after that I'll get in the car we'll drive to uh, actually we're gonna go to uh, pepperonis it's a pizza place that has great hot wings and a, and a gyro or gyro or gyro I like the gyros but we're gonna go there have some hot wings maybe uh, some sandwiches we're probably gonna just take it home and eat it eat it at home and we're gonna enjoy our Saturday man we had a great time Friday we went to Red Lobster Friday that was yesterday so instead of going to the community event we went we ended up going to Red Lobster and uh, get some candy watch a movie at home wonder we had a great time it's the best time to be with your family spend that spend that time if you have kids if you have family don't waste your time driving all over the place just to ride a bike okay spend, try to spend some time with your family all right <laughs> I know that sounds stupid for me to say but <laughs> you know <laughs> Spend some time with your loved ones, your girlfriend, your wife. I, as much as I enjoy riding this bike, you know, I, I do like getting, uh, I do like getting some love from my uh, significant other, my wife, and and uh, so my kids. So don't 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 neglect don't neglect your loved ones over a bike, all right? <laughs> all right. Uh, going up the overpass. So yeah. Uh, so that's where I'm headed, the bucket pool. It's a sunny right now, warm in the 80s, probably in the 80s. I'm wearing a flexi-freeze vest, so I don't feel it as much. Oh, the casetas, casetas are out. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy the sun, it is cloudy today. Hopefully it will not rain, or it'll probably will rain, but hopefully it'll be a, a few more hours so I could just get wet and uh, enjoy the uh enjoy the pool gave me a nod i gave him a wave which way should i go i'll go around i'll take the crosswalk and go around because i got all the i got the time i mean it's not going to take me that long As a matter of fact it didn't take me that long so all the bag, all the baskets and everything is back on the Rad Rover. So hopefully I will not get a flat. I don't even have a pump. Okay, I could go. Let me just throttle from here on in because I'm not in a hurry. I'm using the Cramp Buster. People playing volleyball. There's the bucket pool. Looks like it's open. Yeah, it's open. My wife should be there. She got here before I did. I'm pretty sure she found parking. So there's the bucket pool. And people are playing volleyball. Oh, no, don't let the ball, don't let the ball go in the street. All right. All right. Yeah. Summer, summer is here. Let's just ride around just a little bit before I get into the pool. 
it's uh, Saturday, so first, is it the first weekend? Yeah, it is the first weekend. Uh, should I come over here? No, I'll go, go through this way. Oh, uh, water. It's the first weekend of summer, I guess. Uh, I gotta find my wife's car now. It's, oh, it's, yeah, everyone's out here today. I found my wife's car, or my car, I should say. Watch out for this car. So there's the pool. Here's the tennis court. I'll go around the tennis court real quick. My wife's vehicle's over there. I'll go around the tennis court real quick. People playing tennis, people at the amphitheater. All right, yeah, people playing tennis, outdoor seating. Sometimes I'll when they have the food truck events, I'll come out here and eat here. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bike away now. The great thing about a foldable bike, you fold it in half. And I'm going to put it in the back of the vehicle of my SUV. I believe the, the car was over here somewhere. Where is the car? Uh, I have my own set of keys. I think here it is. Here's, here's my car. All right, got to fix this place up a little bit. Been, uh, I've been using it. Okay, so this is how I originally have it set up here, like this. And now I gotta fold the bike. I should probably turn the bike off. I did bring a key. I brought a key. I have it locked in, but I will still take the key. Leave it locked but turned off. That way it doesn't turn on by accident. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Oh. I have this as a safety measure, but this has to definitely come off. Before I do that, uh, this is how I unfold the, uh, the bike. Let me put the pedals in. Pedals in. We take, push this down. All right, so once I get all this up, I think I have to be on the other side, yeah. Okay, other side. Hold on to the brakes. Okay, to get this going. All right, oh, I have, to un I have to undo. This has been a while since I've, I've done this. There we go, so get that going, okay. Hold on to the brakes. All right, now I should be able to turn hold on to the brakes and then there we go. <laughs> That took a while. More than I expected. There we go. Like that. Okay. Excellent. This is where I take this piece here and I'll strap it somewhere right here. Let me take the move the handle out of the way. Okay. And then this one, I think I strap it somewhere right here, if I can remember. There we go. Oh. Okay, there it is. I put the gloves on just because it gives me a better grip than my bare hands. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about the seat post. I think I have to take it off. It's a suspension seat post. Usually it's all the way down. I'm going to have to take off the, the seat post. I should probably put it right here for now. All right. All I got to do is pick up the 70 pound bike with a battery in it with my lower back issue. <laughs> Wish me luck, everyone. How did I do it last time? I think I grabbed one hand here and the other hand, the other hand like down here somewhere. All right. Wish me luck. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh. yeah. <laughs> I'll 
take a while. Okay. Let's oh, put that in there. Normally I would tie it up. Uh, I will tie it up though. I will tie it up. Once I tie it up, I can close the door and it will be secure. That's that's basically how I tie it up, you know, just and uh, I got my keys Put my gear away. That's it. I'm done See you all later. Bye <laughs>